finished report. Our teacher, Miss Diwali, has set us a challenge. A challenge which we accept. We will be filming a slicker propaganda film for Sir William Beveridge report on the five evils. To do this, we will be taking you back to the 1940s when it all began. This a genius sitting next to me did a lot of extensive research about the conditions people were living in during the 1940s. He came up with something called the five evils. The five evils consist of number one, squalor. People living in poor and disgusting conditions. A family of four could be confined to one room and one room only. Two, idleness. The British people being too lazy to get off their fat bottoms and actually work for the greater good of the British nation. Three, disease. Hundreds of thousands of people are dying every year due to the lack of cleanliness in our cities and our towns. This is something that must be changed immediately. Number four, ignorance. The proletariat people are not realising how much of an economic crisis Britain is currently in and they are doing nothing to help this. Number five, want. People are spending too much money on unrealistic materials, items such as extra clothes, food and food rations, when they could be saving this to put towards living and medical expenses. I, Sir William Beveridge, have a dream, and it is a great one at that. I dream that one day all British people will be eligible for benefits and also free health. That oh so clever Mr Beveridge had a dream that we should found something called the NHS, National Health Service, which is available for any person, no matter what their financial situation may be. I also had a dream that families should be receiving a minimum of five shillings per child per week. Also, national insurance, which will help out any person who is unemployed or sick. <coughs> Come in. Hello. I have a few questions to ask you. Is that okay? That is fine. What would benefit you most about having free health care and maternity wards in a town near you? Free health care would be a life saviour. I would no longer have to worry about becoming ill or paying so much money for little health care. I see, I see. And what about your husband? What would he think? My husband would be delighted. He would no longer have to go to work and worry about us children and us parents. Oh, he would be delighted. Ah, uh, I shall pass that on to Sir William Beveridge. Uh, Good thank luck. You. Thank you. After seeing this video, does it make you realise that you should vote for Beveridge? This wonderful chap here, my good friend. Voting for me would be the best decision of your lifetime. Free education and free healthcare for all? Why wouldn't you vote me? It would be the best decision ever. Can you imagine having your own room each? Um, anyway, after seeing this, we hope you do believe in the beverage way. The beverage way is the right way. The only way. The best way. Vote Sir William Beveridge. And I, Sir William Beveridge, approve of this message. The Sir William Beveridge. And this is my quote. No. <laughs> People were living in during